everybody, it's Jade Haitian over here. I am here with another video. Uh, this video, I'm actually going to talk to you guys today about Google Analytics. I have my site, um, as you guys know, the HaitianMobile.com, and I also have the training site that's attached to it. Um, with that, I have been wanting to keep, in, keep up with the number of views and the number of people that come to my site and those type of things. Um, so, but I have lately been noticing that uh, some, of, of course, my views have gone down due to lack of promotion. Or lack of SEO and all those other things. So that's something I'm definitely gonna be working on between now and January. So uh, please bear with me. You will also know those tips and follow along with what I am, I'm, with whatever it is that I am doing, so that way you can know as well. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna jump around into my dashboard. This is my dashboard right here. Um, you see, I got my Google AdSense set up. Uh, got a couple of orders for MCA scripts. And those type of things. And now, what I really want to do is set up my Google Analytics dashboard. As you guys see, I also do set up my post, so that's something that I do as well. But not only do I make my my YouTube videos and post them on YouTube, but I also post them on my on my blog, so that way they can be found and reached. So let's go ahead and click on Authorize Plugin. Well, first of all, to get this plugin is actually the Google Analytics plugin. So if you come if you on WordPress. Go ahead and click plugins. Then you type in Google Analytics. And this is the one that I currently have right here. So go ahead and click this, install it, then activate it, and then just go get right into it. So now, once you do that, come to down here, Google Analytics, go to general settings. We want to let me see. We want to authorize this plugin. We don't have to have developer mode set up, but you definitely want to authorize the plugin. So we'll go here and click authorize. Now, if you don't have an account created, which I believe that I do, but just to be on the safe side, I'll go ahead and go through that process anyway. So usually what you'll do, you can actually come to this link and click on it. It'll open up this tab right here. It will guide you through the process of creating the first analytics account with Google. All right, so it'll tell you what you need to do. You click on sign up, then you put the website link, put your, your name, the website name, and then you would, of course, get your information so that way you can change and update your um, properties on your account. Okay, so now we'll do that. So I went ahead and actually clicked on this link to create the account. So I come up here and give you the three steps. All right, this at the end of the time, at the end of the video, you're gonna actually want to go ahead and get this set up already. Okay, so now what we'll do is go to sign up. Go ahead and put your information in. Account name, Asian Mobile, website. And now, you know, I have two different links. I actually have a uh, my website link for the Asian Mobile and also it goes directly to my blog. So I can do either or. I really want to be able to keep up with all of it so so in that case what I'll do is I will have it as the Haitian local dot com all together and that's how I make sure I put my code in on the actual index page select industry uh, business industrial markets computer electronics Let's see, not hobbies what we'll do we'll do business and industrial markets okay you can just whatever one goes with yours as well and then did all that now you go ahead and click get tracking ID and you gotta accept this before you do so before you get your ID accept this as well I accept. All right now, once you've done that, you'll see. You can, of course, you have the app as well, so we'll come back and do that later. And it goes to a video actually. Once you click on it. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, uh, I saw my notification not showing up at the bottom. It's supposed to. There they are. We'll move this back here. Oh, it was right here. Okay. And no thanks. 
then here's the, the, the actual coding that you need. Okay. Now with this coding, you need to put it in the header of each web page you want to track. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put it in the web page of my um, website in itself, which is yeah, kind of like FileZilla here, and also put it in the header of my WordPress. Now, the good thing about doing it when you're in WordPress is that WordPress automatically includes the header page into all of its pages. So if you just put it in there, it'll actually show up on all the on all the pages on the site. So what I'll do is come down to editor. Be careful if you're doing this too. If you're not sure, go ahead and, and try to back up your information or let me know and I'll show you how to back up your information. Um, because if you mess up any kind of coding in here, it could actually alter the whole website. Now with me, of course, I, I'm a, a web designer, so I have an idea of what to do. But ultimately, what you want to do to get started is you have your coding here, correct? So once you have your coding here, you want to go ahead and copy all of this first and then go back and then edit it so once you copy all of this save it as an original header file under whatever it is on your in your folder on your computer and then come back into it and get the coding that you received from google analytics right here and then insert it into your code now this is going to be the header file which is going to be included with everything um and what i'll do is i'll put it right here so you see you get the head right here and that's actually where they want you to put it in between so here it is right here the head tag and then we'll come down a couple times, put the script in, paste, then update file. Alright, once you do that, you'll see that it tells you if you already have it on there, simply add the config line from the snip below. If we have we don't want you to do that because it's already done. Alright, uh then you won't request you see anything yet because it's still just brain used to actually put it in there. And let's see, doo -doo 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 -doo, and that's pretty much it. Now you can look at your notifications to make sure that that. Mm, I search console. Uh, we could do this. I already have assets already linked in, so um, we'll look that. So. Now that we have Google Analytics inputted into our code, we can go ahead and link AdSense. If you already have an account, which you should, if you have been following my my videos, and actually sign up for my course, because you know it is free. So if you want to figure out how to do AdSense, you can do that as well. Uh, let's see, we're linking AdSense. You're able to add out the flow between the products. Perfect. Do AdSense with content. Continue. Link. Configuration with the analytics view should this as is probably linked to our website data and enable. So it'll take about 24 hours for that and then just wait on it and then done. There we go. Now you can also add the other things if you have those as well. Um, but what I'll probably do is go to the home. See what make sure we have everything pretty much set up. All right, and now we can start promoting because as of right now, there's no active users, no hits, nothing like that. So, since we just added it, it's gonna take a little time to populate. So, what I'll do is all right, is go ahead and promote it and then. Be able to actually be able to check out to see what you have, and then also you'll be able to see what is happening on your site in real time. Be able to see the overviews of them of who is actually checking your site out. If it's more men than women, uh, what age group that they're in, what location that they're in, you'll definitely be able to get all those insights. Um, then you come to your back to your dashboard on WordPress. You actually should be able to see this on your actual dashboard. So let's go ahead to go to there quick. All right, now we scroll down to we see analytics. Next. 
through these authorization. Oh, that's right, we gotta authorize it. We just set up the account, so now we gotta authorize it. Alright, authorize plugin. Now you get your access code. Everybody's gonna access code be different. So I open up another tab. Just gonna sign in with my account. That's the one. And allow. There's your access codes right there. Come here. Insert it into your WordPress. Save access code. Can you see that? It gives you all the information. Then we'll go ahead and save the changes. And come back to the dashboard one more time. You should be able to see something different. Here we go. But again, these will only show up once you actually get more. So I usually have Jetpack that actually shows me the views. Of everything, so um, that's been it's been conflicting one of my plugins. So what I do is I now I make sure I got Google Analytics. So in the next couple of days, really I give it about a week. I'll promote and everything, and then I'll show you guys exactly what it should look like. But by this time, you guys should actually go get also get a sense of how yours will look as well. Um, the next step which I'll go to will be the SEO, so that way we can figure out how to SEO your website and be found online without having to do so much promotion. All right. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hopefully you understood it. Hopefully it gave you um, a better insight on how to connect your WordPress site to Google Analytics. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one.